Hey, okay, welcome to the After Show podcast. We've got Randy Sharp from uh, the AFA Action Alert. He's the head of that. He's the guru. He is the guy who clicks <laughs> send on your AFA Action Alert. Randy, hey, boy, how are you doing? Doing great. Doing okay. Great. Now, you had some big news over at AFA Action Alert. We had Fred Jackson on the show today, and he's got a story over at onenewsnow.com about it. But tell folks kind of what was going on and the good news. We've got good news for a change. Well, there's an Air Force base, Robbins Air Force Base in the state of Georgia. Uh-huh. And as most people know, when you go through a military installation, you have to go through a security gate, provide right. your ID, your verification for being able to come into the base. Mm-hmm. Well, the those who operate this gate were wishing customer or were wishing those coming to the base to have a blessed day, a very yeah. A uh, kind greeting, a very well accepted greeting, all but to just a few airmen who were going on to the base. They didn't like the idea of someone telling them to have a blessed day, so they complained. But they didn't complain to the superiors on base. They went to Mikey Weinstein, who is the founder and president of the Military Religious Freedom Foundation, an atheist group that does everything it can to eradicate Christianity completely from the military. Mikey Weinstein made a phone call to the base commander, and within three minutes, this commander had capitulated to every demand of Mikey Weinstein and, in fact, ordered all gate personnel to refrain from from telling people to have a blessed day or wishing them this greeting. Mm. So we sent an AFA action alert into a 50-mile radius of that base because so many civilians work on that base and so many people in the community are affected by what happens on that base. Right. And we urge them to contact the base commander. We urge them to make their concerns known to the base and to the military. And basically what happened within a 12-hour period, that policy was reversed by the base commander the base issued a statement saying, hence, going forward, our gate guards can wish people to have a blessed day. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't violate the Constitution. It doesn't violate, violate Air Force regulations. So this is a great victory for religious freedom, not only for America, but especially for those serving in the military. Because we see so many cases day after day where religious freedom in the military is being squashed. And this is a great victory. Yeah, it really is. And you know what? Hey, uh, Commander, if you're listening, good for you. You know, a lot of people double down. They get challenged on things like this or they make a mistake and they don't reverse course. They don't admit that, hey, you know what? Maybe I overreacted. Um, So I I say good for that commander for making a change. Yeah, it's a great report. We hope that this will go forward onto other bases Mm -hmm. where religious liberty is being challenged that folks will step up to the bat and hit a home run just like this base did. And here's the good news. Now you're, it's okay to sneeze on base. You can sneeze, <laughs> somebody can say yeah. bless you, and it won't be a problem. Hey, uh, Randy, how can people sign up if they're not getting the AFA action alert? How can they do that? Just go to afa.net. There's a box there where you can sign up for the AFA action alert. And that's so critical because it is the everyday people in America who are making a difference. Mm-hmm. That's right. And had people not spoken up about this issue at Robbins Air Force Base, nothing would have changed. Nothing would have changed, and it would have that type of thing. They said, well, over at Robbins, they don't let them say that. And exactly. that kind of stuff would have spread. Hey, um, that's great. Sign up. Go to afa.net. Sign up for the AFA Action Alert. It's easy to stay informed on things. And I like that you didn't even target the whole list. You just took those people that it affected who could have the most impact, and that way you didn't waste the time of people yeah. who were off in Washington State or wherever. Right, right. and if you'd like the whole backstory, it's available also on the website at afa.net. Read about it all. Okay, afa.net. Hey, did you know I was in the Air Force? Uh, I didn't. Did you know I was in the Marine Corps? I, I did know that, as but a matter of fact. did you know that words really can hurt? <laughs> yeah, yeah yes, we're playing they the Geico commercial. You know, uh, when I was in the Air Force, <laughs> I did that actual gate duty for a time. And you, well, that's the great thing about the podcast. We've got time for a little story, so I'm going to tell a little story. A young guy standing at the gate, and um, you are really excited when you're a young guy and you're in uniform, You can and you have some power. You get a little power. You could decide who gets to go in. Who doesn't? 
and you know, my buddy's over there, and we aren't even real policemen, if you will. We are security police augmentees. In the Air Force, the police are in charge of air base defense. Mm -hmm. So they'll go out, do drills and maneuvers and stuff a couple times a year. So I'm Barney Fife in it at the gate. <laughs> and oh, cop. yes, yes, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm I'm rent a cop. And so I'm there and uh some folks come in and then my buddy is in the patrol car next to it. And we see this car come in and I check their ID and I salute and let them go through or wave them through, or in this case, uh, they go a little bit, and they turn around in the middle of the road, start to come back, and then they turn around again, and they go, it just made it illegal, you turn all over. And I'm like, what are they doing? Well, my buddy, who's also Barney Fife in it, uh, gets in, and he goes and pulls them over. And so I hear on the radio, you know, they're pulling them over, right. and uh, and then they come back, and uh, uh, released them, no citation, no citation issued. And then he comes back and he's just laughing, 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 laughing. I said, what was the deal? He said, well, they were going to come back to talk to you. But then they got kind of nervous and they decided to just go on. So they turned around again. <laughs> I said, well, what was the deal? They said, your fly's downed. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked and sure enough, and I don't know how long it had been down, but I'm waving people through that gate and it's just. It's well, horrible, horrible. You know, that it's almost a thankless job, Ron, and you probably know this more than, than anyone. You stand out there in the middle of the night when it's 10 degrees and the wind's blowing 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. You're out there in the middle of the hot August sun when it's 110 degrees. Right, right, no that shade. tiny little phone booth of a shack. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so I think it would behoove us who visit military bases when we go through, take time to just have a kind word for that person that's sure. allowing us to come into the base and let them know how much we appreciate them and to be sure to greet them with have a blessed day. Great idea, Randy. And thanks for being on the podcast.